Hi everyone, if you're enjoying the show and have appreciated the tips and experience being shared with you, maybe consider leaving a one-off tip to support production, including the hosting, the booking, the marketing, the recording, the editing, and every other aspect of making a show like this. You can do that by visiting podcastingpeople.uk slash support or via the link in the show notes. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Jonah Gal Neufeld. I'm the owner and executive producer of Puddle Creative in Portland, Oregon, USA, like the puddle that you splash in. And today I'm going to give you a tip about interview recording and remote recording. So I'm the, I'm the, as I said, I'm the owner and executive producer of Puddle Creative, a podcasting agency that I started with my wife, Annie Fassler. And we produce podcasts for brands and companies that use their marketing budgets to create podcasts. We produce a podcast for REI, the big outdoor retailer here in the United States, as well as a couple podcasts for some banks and some technology startups and a couple US states. We've worked with the state of Vermont and the state of Virginia we're working with right now. And we're a small team of five spread out across the US. We work uh, remotely with most of our clients. So I go into a small office every couple days. But other than that, I'm working on the computer. I got into podcasting in 2011 which in podcasting terms is a long time ago. I was just graduating from university and I got an internship at a company here in Portland, Oregon that no longer exists, but they had a recording studio. They were doing some work for a couple businesses as well as they had a couple original podcasts. And 2011 was a time when you know the podcast Serial, that is you know uh, one of the big first hit podcasts, the first season didn't come out till 2014. So in 2011, we were still telling people what podcasts were. I remember explaining to my grandmother what I did for a job. And you know, you couldn't just say, I edit podcasts because you had to say, oh, it's like radio, but on the internet, that sort of thing. So I worked, I worked there as an intern for a while. And then I got hired as a producer. And then it was a small company, but eventually became the kind of production manager there. And then left to do other things. I didn't uh, work in audio for a number of years, had a couple different jobs in different industries. And then I came back to audio editing as like a freelance side gig that I was doing. I had a few podcasting clients who I you know, edited their shows. And then I worked for a company that was doing podcast editing. And then in 2017, started Puddle Creative. It started as a freelance business, really just my wife and I had a, f- a few clients and then we grew it from there. Maybe this is my one thing that I love about podcasting. I would just give a shout out to the RSS feed <laughs> as a technology <laughs> because it really is just a, such a cool and happy accident almost of, of something that somebody invented And then Apple, of all companies, said, let's put this into our device and turn this, you know, into a thing that millions of people are going to have access to for free. And I love the the free nature of it, the multi-platform nature of it, you know. Currently, in 2024, we're not beholden to one single company. um, And hopefully, it will stay that way for many, many years to come. So my big tip is about interview recording and remote recording. And Really, it's a love letter to the tape sync. And if you don't know what a tape sync is, it's a kind of old term borrowed from radio when you let's say you have a guest who's in the UK, you have a host of the podcast who's in New York City, let's say, and you want them to both be recorded in a very high quality fashion. So you send somebody to the guest's house in the UK to stick a microphone in their face press record on a portable recorder. And, you know, back in the day, you would just have a phone call, right, with the person in New York, and that person in New York would also be recorded. And then you would sync the tape and make it sound like they were in the same room. Of course, you know, now we do that digitally. And there are plenty of great tools like Squadcast and Riverside, 
where we can have local recordings from a computer. But I think if you're working in podcasting and you have a budget, it's really nice for an interviewee, for a guest who's not a podcaster, somebody who doesn't own a microphone and equipment. It really shows that you care if you say, hey, we want to record you. Could we send somebody to your house or your business to record you while we speak on you know, Squadcast or Zoom with you? Or can we send you to a recording studio? And that really makes the guest feel like a, you know, like an MVP, like a really valuable person. You value their time. You're spending money to hire this person. And it, you know, it makes for really, really great audio. Also, having somebody else in the room with that person who can be like, hey, can we move into a more quiet room? Or I noticed that you have three dogs. You know, maybe we need to <laughs> put them outside or something like that. Because <laughs> it really helps to have that, that other audio engineer in the location with the guest. And then on the other side of that, if you're an indie podcaster, I would really encourage you to go out and seek a tape sync, like be the person who's recording these for other shows. And there are plenty of ways to do that. There are a couple of listservs that you can get on. And I'm happy to add anybody um, who wants to to the like New York listserv, which really it's called the New York listserv, but it spans the whole country and even internationally. And there's some some spreadsheets where you can find people. Or even if you don't do that as like, I'm going to go out and be hired for this, just taking the time to get a portable recorder and a microphone and go record somebody in person, I think is a really valuable skill to have. And just go and record a family member, you know, your mom or dad or grandmother or grandfather, ask them about their life. Because there's something very different about that than sitting down in front of your computer and having a, a Zoom call-esque interaction. So somewhere where you're not looking at a screen, where you're kind of holding a microphone in their face and learning how to do that, I think is really valuable. You can find me at puddlecreative.com. That's P-U-D-D-L-E creative.com. And you can see all of my links in the show notes. Thanks for listening to Podcasting People. Like the sound of this episode? The Sound Boutique can help with your show too, from fixing problem audio all the way through to producing full shows. Visit thesoundboutique.com today to start a conversation. The link is in the show notes.